on that one. This post is courtesy of um, the Joe Rogan subreddit and it's a constant conversation going on at the moment. Constant conversation going on at the moment. What do you guys think? What do you guys think is Joe Rogan's issue with comedians coming on these podcasts and being funny and making jokes and being silly? Why does Joe Rogan seem to hate it so much? Can somebody describe? Because I felt like this recent episode of Save Our, Save, Save Our Parks might have been one of the best ones in terms of the number of zingers and one-liners that Mark Norman was dropping in the background, Shane Gillis giggling, Ari Shafir dropping his occasional one-liner and shit. But it was all going over Joe Rogan's head. He was not having it in the slightest. And this is a good example of it. And he does this thing also, somebody pointed out, where whenever Mark Norman says a joke and he doesn't get it, he'll do this like wah, wah, wah shit. Like, you know, he kind of ironically laughing. But people are now seeing it maybe as like a weird him being jealous and feeling inadequate around Mark. I don't really know. But let's play the clip anyway. I literally <laughs> killed Pepsi Spice. When was the last time you saw Pepsi Spice? It's done. I've never heard of it. it probably he, he probably killed it. They're like, just Damn. Forget, uh, fuck out this loser. It was kind of weird though, wasn't it? It was like cinnamon. What I, is? I don't I, know. Was Pepsi it Spice. good? Might have been good. He so, might have fucked it up for everybody. <laughs> like cherry it's like Coke. Joyous way from cherry the world. Coke is really yeah. good. Cherry, cherry Coke's, Coke's the best. Cherry Coke. Pepsi is Spice. Worst Spice Girl. <laughs> cherry Coke Spice. <laughs> Pepsi Spice. <laughs> She's bubbly. Pepsi Spice. <laughs> She's bubbly. <laughs> She's got great cans. <laughs> wah, Stop wah. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. See, so he did that wah 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 thing, but then whenever I started laughing, he joined in. So what you think is the issue with Joe Rogan just not liking when people make jokes on his pod? What do you think that's about? I don't buy into this narrative that everyone's doing on the Joe Rogan subreddit by saying that, oh, Joe is, own, is jealous of um, Mark Norman. I don't buy that in the slightest. I also think having listened to enough Joe Rogans, he does have this tendency where he he kind of doesn't really match the vibe of the room. So if he's talking to some neurophysicist, he's suddenly silly goosey and talking about crazy shit that he probably shouldn't be talking about with somebody in that field. But then when he's got a comedian on, he kind of doesn't want to be silly. So he does it like, you know what I mean? Sort so of the opposite sort of thing. So And he kind of wants to talk about serious issues and culture war stuff and cancel culture and politics and blah, blah, blah you know economy all this nonsense like i don't really know why that's the case but it is interesting to see why that happens and how it happens so often here's another clip um courtesy of that um in same episode where they have a very interesting interaction everybody on set of our parks jay a big video gamer Ooh, he's just competitive <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, he gets crazy. Yeah. yeah I try Rarely, to but what when he is, what game are you playing? Uh, NBA Jam. <laughs> <laughs> More basketball. Yeah. He plays basketball. He plays NBA video 2K. Games. He loves basketball. <laughs> yeah. So that was what started the argument. Is he was like, I'm getting pretty good. And does he like, actually play basketball? Yeah, yeah he, was, he does. They were playing they the court in his, yeah. in his That uh, was apartment. in his. That oh. was in his apartment building. Oh, okay. He's and a better than the game. Yeah. I wore a chain wall at once. He tackled me. Why? Uh, he, that's his thing. He wears a chain wallet. That's a joke. Uh, <laughs> <He's fucking> <laughs> <laughs> I wore a chain wallet once and he tackled me. That was clearly a joke because Big J wears chain wallets and looks like a fucking, you know, a goth from the fucking early 2000s, right? An emo. Like, it's ridiculous, right? His age. Like a more goth, but it's funny, right? And Joe, why, why would he do that? Why would he tackle you for? That's mean. Why would he do that? It's, it's a joke. Oh. So what's the deal with that? Again, I don't buy into this idea that he's jealous of Mark Norman. I don't buy that because I also think this is one of the rare instances on Joe Rogan's podcast where he gets to talk to people who don't mind shitting on him, who don't mind teasing him, who don't mind making him the butt of the jokes. He actually enjoys this, especially being a filthy rich white man. He probably gets loads of people you know, sucking up to him and wanting to cozy up to him and be his friend and whatnot and never really talk quote-unquote normal to him this is the one occasion he does get to do it on his pod where no one's trying to suck up to him really that aggressively and they're having a laugh joking and making you know inside jokes on you know without him being involved in any way shape or form so i think he kind of enjoys that so there's no way that he does it because he doesn't like them he just does this all the time with comedians every comedian's complained about this like his tendency is to just not get jokes some people have suggested that's because he's not funny himself that's a common thing i've heard 
he's not funny. Uh, he's not funny. That's why he doesn't get jokes. He's not actually a good comedian himself. He's a bad podcaster. Bloody blah, 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 blah. Again, I don't buy that. I just think for whatever reason, when comedians come on, Joe's brain switches to like serious mode. Like he just doesn't, he wants to be the one leading the jokes. Like I'm the alpha here. When it comes to, you know, psychologists and philosophers and businessmen and shit, it switches to that, to being silly goosey guy. So what do you guys think here in the stream chat? Um, Joe's probably just got a lot on his mind. It's just him and Jamie, apparently. Yeah, true. Louis B. J. said, I'd love to see what Joe thinks of GL of Milk Cost. Um, not, Martin Moose says, not jealousy. It's Joe. It's white, witty, witty enough to make a funny comeback. It's all Joe can do. Literally can't, can't joke back and forth. Okay, that's true. I think Martin Moose is onto something. Martin Moose, you might be right there. I think Joe Rogan's inability to like rift is true because he can be funny. He is a, clearly a funny dude and can be funny on podcasts. We know that, but he's not like a, he's not sharp and he, he can't go back and forth like that. I think his default when he wants, when he kind of wants to take part in those kind of back and forths and witty, whatever it may be, exchanges, he usually just laughs a lot. He very rarely says anything else to kind of add to the joke. He just laughs really enthusiastically, that kind of like belly laugh, like, ah, like leaning back. He doesn't necessarily take part in any other way apart from that. So I think you're right there, Marty Moose. You might be, you might have cracked it. Louis BJ says, Joe's untethered from real reality that these pop eps are supposed to be put chill pod similar to the fight companions. Okay, that's maybe a point there. Um, Mr. West says he doesn't get video game trash talking true. Cloud K2 says, I wonder if Joe's naturally funny and he retracts around other comedians who naturally just like to joke around silly. Huh. That's another good one, Cloud K20. I wonder if Joe just is not naturally funny and he retracts. That's true. That's similar to Brendan. Brendan does that also. Whenever he's around like super funny people, like you, you remember it a lot when it was like, the old golden days of the TFAT K podcast when Will Sasser would join and Chris Lear would be there and Brian Callum would be there and those three would be hitting it off because they're like 10 minute podcast guys, right? Fame and they've known each other for a while. And Brennan would just kind of like go into his shell. He wouldn't know what to say. He'd just be laughing nervously along. So when he's around other comedians, instead of rising to it and kind of getting involved with the funnies, he'd kind of go into a show a bit more. So that might be a good point. Good point you made there, Cloud K20. Um, Robert Henry Poet says, I think he does act like a jealous dude occasionally. Money make that shit go ahead um, automatically. I've been around dudes with money and they can just be insecure sometimes. Yeah, that's also true. Maybe it's also true. Like maybe he's around people that always suck his dick when he's got money. So when he's around people that don't really care that much about him like that, it can maybe make him feel a little bit away and he kind of wants to reassert dominance by, hey, I'm serious now, no jokes. Maybe that's a good point as well there. Natashki says, the fact that Joe claims to be so health conscious and looks like he's like a toe decaying at rapid speed is insane to me. Why do keep people keep talking about this? Natashki with the bombs. You know what about Joe's appearance? You know the funny thing about Joe's appearance? Maybe it's me, but I think he's aged like an avocado. He looked okay for a while, and then he just started to look wild. Like, there, I think it, it, it there reaches a point. There's a point of, like, what's that word called again? There's a point of diminishing returns, I think, with HGH and steroids in general. You get to a certain age, because I'm sure Joe works out the same way he worked out when he was 21. But when you, just, when you take so much gear, and your natural biological age is going a certain way, there's just it just hits a wall. There's nothing more you can do. That guy going viral on social media at the moment, the guy that's kind of injecting himself with his son's blood and shit, right? He's a good example. I think you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Let me actually try and get him up on here. People, how they look like. Let me see if I can pull him up. Boom, 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 boom. Bear with me. Um, man injects son's blood. You know what I'm talking about, right? This guy, he, he he's going viral on social media, but I've known about him from the startup world because he does a lot of like biohacking type of shit, right? This white dude, right? He on the right, obviously the one on the front. He's obviously doing this whole thing where he's trying to crack, um, you know, longevity and whatnot and trying to make sure that he, you know, stays in optimal physical shape and whatnot for as long as possible. Because that's one thing people always say, if you're around rich people, they say like, you know, you should always talk about, 
um, what's that thing called? Immortality and shit around those kind of topics. Uh, rich people love that. The idea of kind of, you know, extending their life in any way, shape or form. They're always going to be help. They're always going to be ready to kind of chat about those things more so than talking about, you know, industry entertainment bullshit. Anyway, long story short to say, this guy I think is proof that there's only so much you can do. He's probably on all sorts of stuff. He clearly works out a bunch. From what I remember, his daily eating habit diet-wise is fucking boring as hell. He really is committed to eating super clean. Um, he works out a bunch, takes care of himself, eats, sleeps eight hours a day with fucking, you know, heavy shades and shit. Does everything. But there's only so much you can do to not avoid looking just like an older dude that's really fit. There's nothing else you can do about that. He just looks like a really fit older dude. He's never going to look like his son, right? He's always going to go that way to end up looking like his dad in this picture does. It's just one of those type of things that happens. And I think with Joe Rogan, he's reached that stage quicker because I'd imagine, again, I don't know much about steroids and shit, but I'd imagine steroids at a certain point do like hurt you age-wise. They do kind of speed up your aging, I'd imagine. I think it's similar to like, I look at stories similar to like using hair dye, Sometimes you use hair dye a lot. It actually speeds up the amount of grays you get over time, right? It makes you actually get more grays than ever before. So I think that actually can happen. So I think in Joe Rogan's case, he just, you know, has reached the ceiling. There's only, there's only so much of gear that you can do before your body just says enough. We're going to look how we're going to look. You know what I mean? And the way he looks is the way he looks. So, <laughs> big up Natashki for that bomb. Uh, Joe Rogan is looking kind of wild at the moment. But it kind of is what it is. Because there was a moment where I didn't really notice how insane he looked. But then I suddenly woke up and looked at oh, Fuck, you know, he looks like a fucking Savaloy, doesn't he? Like, he looks fucking insane. <laughs> but big up Joe Rogan. Oh, big up Joe Rogan, man. But yeah, and I love this meme also to end it. This meme is fucking, whoever put this on, the Joe Rogan subreddit, you are a fucking legend. This meme is fucking amazing. <laughs> it's shown Leo from the Matrix. Uh, Mark's jokes, Ari's jokes, Joe, Shane's jokes, like fucking incredible. Honestly, so good, man. Like he fucking hates it. When this comedian hates it, when this fucking philosophers, psychologist is all over it, but whatever. Big up fucking um, the Joe Rogan sub. It's finally coming to terms of maybe Joe Rogan's changing and not the person that they fell in love with.